got obviously a very disappointing start against Hampshire, but we're on to Warwickshire now yeah. on Friday. What's it been like in training since since that Hampshire? Uh, pretty wet. Uh, we were back indoors again today. It, it feels like the winter nets have just never finished. Uh, <laughs> obviously, a really frustrating week last week. Um, obviously, you, just, you can't help or you can't mourn about the weather, but we do and we have done. Uh, but yeah, really frustrating week, but the boys' spirits are still pretty high. Like I said, we had a really good training session indoors this morning, so ready for work, I guess. I guess obviously with the no game, you mm. kind of you, you, you bank your eight points, you move on, and obviously yeah. moving on, we have now got Scott Boland available yeah. on Friday. How much excitement that for you as a captain, knowing that it's just another it's another quality bowler, another international yeah. bowler to add to your add to your armour? Yeah, definitely. I think it, it, having a week off, I guess, keeps everyone fresh. Uh, but you, you chuck Scott Boland into that mix. It's uh, he's. Lads face him this this morning in the nets, and he's quicker than you think. He's um, yeah, he bowls a heavy ball, uh, and I think after his his first net session, the lads sort of walked away really excited and, and can't wait for him to get started on on Friday. Um, but now nah, look, it's he's a uh, he comes with lots of experience with with Test cricket. Um, he's been an outstanding ball for a number of years now, and um, I see having faced him this morning, it's the lads are pretty excited. Has there been any sort of beat, plans for how you're going to attack Warwickshire? Because obviously, we know Ryan Campbell's not going to—he's yeah. not playing for George or any of the sort of stuff he wants to attack. So, have you had those initial discussions about a plan of action? No, not yet. I mean, look, we, we know how we want to play cricket. Like we, we set our brand last year. We, we, we want to continue that. We want to keep being aggressive, keep being positive, and try to keep winning, winning games. And we're going to keep asking ourselves, how can we win this game of cricket from from what, any situation? So, we'll continue to do that. Uh, we'll have. A, a team meeting in the morning regarding Warwickshire and we'll, we'll chat through through their team and what they did well or, or not so well last week and we'll have a bit of a chat and then get on the bus and head down. Also it was mentioned that the fact that it's a big it's a bigger squad this year, more yeah. squad depth and I think we spoke previously about how yeah. that's now more competition for places. Yeah. I, does that have more of a positive impact would you say just make just guys knowing that they yeah. can perform and it raises the level? Yeah absolutely I think we, we want to be a club that is challenging for titles and challenging for Division One and on or all titles really, so we're going to need big club strength and, and we're going to need people pushing, pushing guys in the first team. And I think with the signings we've made this year uh, and, and the, the younger guys improving and having a really strong winter, it's going to be tough for, for, for places. And it, and and let's like say if, if people are putting pressure in the second team and putting pressure on the guys in the first team, it, it's it's all good and it's it's going to it's going to um, sort of provide. Uh, good skill set for the first team, I guess. And have you got any happy memories of batting at edge batting in the past? Any anything that particularly stands out to you? Uh, yeah, I actually got a hundred there on my birthday, um, about seven or eight years ago. Um, but I, I love playing at edge batting. I think a lot of guys do as well. It's, it's a proper stadium. It's a big, it's a big ground. Um, so yeah, look, we're excited to get going again. Um, I say it's been a frustrating week, but um, hopefully. It's a nice dry week in Birmingham, we can get some cricket in. And also, finally to wrap up, um, first time you'll be facing your good friend yeah. Rush Rush since he left to go to Warwickshire. Will there be much pleasantries ex exchanged uh, before you step on the field? Probably, he's already sent me a few messages, a few texts. Um, look, it'll be, it'll be good to play against him. I think it's, it's the first time I've played against him um, ever, I think. So, yeah, it'll be different. It's, it's, it's always funny and different when guys you've played with for so long you're then playing against them um, but it'd be good to see him um, and I think all the guys would be the same we'd be happy to see him and uh, hopefully we can get the better of them this week.